What's going on guys? You now gave me back another MLB to show 21 video. And in today's video, we are going to be going over my fifth inning boss predictions. Now, a big thing with these boss predictions is that I feel like they're either going to go big or go home. So I feel like the fifth inning program is going to make or break bosses for the rest of the year. If you, I'll get into what I mean by that in a little bit. But if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button. We're only a few subs away from 550. It will mean the world if we could get there. So... I have three boss inning prediction, inning, five, fifth inning boss prediction. I can't, I can't talk. I can't talk. Anyway, the point is I'm getting into this like a make or break situation. This is a make or break situation for SDS. I know they've had a great month of content so far, but that's part of the reason why they need to be good here. If we're taking a look at the schedule upcoming, it is coming out on the 30th, which is Friday. So we have about five days left before that will be coming out. So... It's really going to make or break Boston inning programs for the rest of the year. Last year, if you played the game, you know that the fifth inning program was one of the last ones that you actually put the bosses on your team. Like, from then on, the sixth inning wasn't that good. The seventh inning wasn't that good. The eighth inning wasn't great. I'm pretty sure the eighth or ninth inning had Griffey in it, and he was the only boss in it. I'm not sure why they did that still. I mean, they know everyone's going to pick them, but you still could have added more bosses. Anyway... The point is, this is going to be a huge one because of all the new content, and now everyone's team is basically 99 overalls with those all-star cards. Everyone's team is getting super-duper good. You need to get away to have some other cards to make sure that the all-star cards aren't just going to roll to the end of the year and there will be no new guys. And like, Because this has been a great month of content so far, but I honestly don't think any of these guys, besides maybe Wander Franco and... Eddie Murray, possibly, if you really like him, a really endgame type squad. There's a lot of good first basemen in the game. There's not a ton of short stops, but I personally didn't like Wander Franco that much. I might give him this card a try, but I personally didn't like his uh, 99 uh, limited edition card. But, so if they release three good bosses, like three stacked bosses that will probably make everybody's team, no matter who you take... And I feel like that's going to be very important, and that's kind of what I did. I got three stacked bosses, and um, I I basically made predictions on them. So we're going to be starting things off with our first guy, and it is going to be the new legend, Roberto Clemente, MVP 1966 card, uh, 99 overall. All these guys are going to be 99 overall, of course. Now, this card, I think, is going to be very good. We're gonna actually going to go filter and take a look at some of the previous Roberto Clemente cards we have gotten so far this year. So we're just going to search Clemente real quick. Just going to search Clemente. Boom. Taking a look at this 93 BR program card. Good contact, okay power, good vision, incredible fielding. That's basically Roberto Clemente. He's good contact, contact first, and then fielding. He's basically a contact fielding type of guy. Usually, MLB the show doesn't play that well. But with this card art and the stats that I've given him, I think he's going to be very playable. 125 contact on both sides with 104 power against right-handed hitters. This is by far his best power year that I chose for the card. He also has 89 power against lefties, 115 vision. He has 96 shielding with 99 arm strength and 99 arm accuracy. He's going to be one of the best defenders in the game. Roberto Clemente is one of the best defenders of all time out there in right field. So as obviously well-deserved, around 64 speed as as well i think this card could could be end game not sure parallel five i could see this card being end game with 120 vision pretty good power numbers and those insane fielding stats um i could see this card being end game and i honestly hope we get a stacked roberto clemente at some point i'm not sure if they're gonna do this but i am this is probably the boss i'm most confident on for this predictions i feel like a roberto clemente they need to get some of the stacked new legends they've only this the only stacked new legend they've released like the 99 out of the new legends is Prince Fielder. So that's the only Prince Fielder card we're going to get. That's really good. At least I think that's what we're going to get. We might get another one. You never know. But we're no good Roberto Clemente, no good um, Pedro Martinez yet. I mean, we obviously have a good Alfonso Soriano. But, yeah, a lot of the new Legend cards need to be uh, better showcased. So, um, yeah. Roberto Clemente is a good way to start. I feel like they'll add Pedro in some sort of program later on. I don't think he's going to be a boss. I'm not sure what they're going to do for Pedro. But anyway, going on to our starting pitcher, I think this is the one we're going to go with. My prediction is a 99 finest flashback Garrett Cole. Now, this one's kind of interesting because they did finest flashbacks last year, and I'm not saying it was a bad thing, but it was, it was, it was definitely interesting. I feel like this card definitely deserves it. 
because Garrett Cole is one of the best pitchers in the game, and I feel like this card has potential to be really good. Now, this was a card in MLB The Show 19, and they did this sort of thing last year. They brought back Bellinger. I think they brought back Josh Bell. They brought back a lot of Finest, but when they did that, Finest had already came out. I feel like it'd be cool for them to release a Finest flashback type card earlier on in the year. I don't know. I, I feel like that'd be cool, and I feel like it would blend well with the All-Star cards. This is the one I'm least confident on, but I would absolutely love to see this card. Now, if we take a look at his pitches, four-seamer slider, knuckle holder, change-up sinker. Sinker, he has a two-seamer on his MLB Show 19 card, and he has a two-seamer on his live series card. Do I think they'll give him a two-seamer? Probably, but in the odd chance, they might give him a sinker to make him more usable online. Obviously, even with a two-seamer, his card's going to be insane online very similar to Grom, but yeah, um, Sinker, that would make him even better. 115 stamina, 120 hits per nine, 125 case per nine, 87 walks per nine, 70 home runs per nine. He obviously doesn't have the best home runs per nine. We know that. 115 pitching clutch, 90 control, 99 velo, and 95 break. His card is actually uh, has some stats boosted from his MLB The Show 19 card, and his MLB The Show 19 card was really good. Don't don't get me wrong, that card was really good. But I boosted the stats a little bit because of the differences in how the game plays uh, is obviously a big factor. Do I think this card will have outlier? No, I don't think this card will have outlier. But it will be one of those cards that can occasionally get 101 on the fastball. But I don't think it will have outlier on the fastball, uh, unlike DeGrom. So I still think DeGrom will be slightly better because he does have outlier. But I still think this Garrett Cole will be one of the best pitchers in the game. Probably the second best pitcher, maybe even third, depending on how you like Edward Cabrera still. This Garrett Cole card, he's he's just going to be ridiculous. There's nothing else I can say. He is going to be ridiculous. Taking a look at the final outfielder, it is going to be Babe Ruth. 125 contact versus righties, 120 contact versus lefties, 125 power versus righties, and 115 power versus lefties. This is going to be a 700 home run club milestone card. That is going to be my prediction. 100 vision, 120 discipline was 90 clutch. This card is going to be one of the best hitters in the entire game. I actually think he is the best hitter in the entire game with these stats. He is going to flat out rake. He has... Defense is going to be terrible. Flat out, defense is going to be bad. Speed isn't going to be great. But Babe Ruth is there for his bat, and his bat will absolutely come to play. I can tell you that. Babe Ruth is one of the best hitters of all time. And if you parallel this card, he's going to have max content contact, and his worst hitting attribute is going to be power versus lefties with 120. That's if you parallel 5 him. I think this has potential to be an endgame first baseman or maybe even right fielder if you can tolerate that. I accidentally made right field as a secondary position on his card, even though he's a right field primary. I I ignore the secondary positions. I mess up sometimes. Anyway, this is my boss predictions. I'm going with Babe Ruth, Garrett Cole, and Roberto Clemente. Out of all... Um, confidence that I think we're going to get. Number one, I think we're probably going to get some sort of Roberto. If not, we're going to get Pedro. We're going to get some sort of new boss. I feel like that's going to happen. Second is Babe Ruth, and third is Garrett Cole. I don't think they're going to do the Garrett Cole one, but that'd be super cool if they did. And I feels like it feels like a bit of a long shot prediction, so I might as well put it in this video. Anyway, if you did enjoy the predictions, let me know the thoughts on them. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comment section down below. Anyway, I'm Yoni Gaming. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thanks a ton for watching.